Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Bowman Baseball Hobby Edition. Four box random team break number three. One spot gets you three teams and no pay for common ship and it's the last four boxes of that case we popped open for a little while ago. Um, we don't have any more 2021 Bowman Baseball after that so thanks everybody for making that happen. So once again, one spot gets you three teams. Big thanks to this group here for making it happen. It's two and three. So you can see CJ's last spot, Mojo Star, one, two, and three times right there. Big thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. And uh, congrats again to the people who won their spots. And there are all the 30 baseball teams right there. Let's roll it and randomize it. Four and a two, six times. Good, Rex, that's good advice. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Got CJ down to CJ with the spots that he won in the filler. Four and a two, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six times, we got the Royals down to the Yankees. All right, CJ with the Royals, Oliver with the Diamondbacks, CJ with the Reds, Mark with the Mets, Jason with the Pirates, Jake with the Astros, Brett with the Dodgers, Jake with the Tigers, Dan with the Twins, Mark with the Padres, Dan with the Rockies, CJ with the Nationals, Oliver with the Orioles, Mark with the Phillies, CJ with the Brewers, Jason with the Braves, Dan with the Guardians, Scott with the Red Sox and Marlins, CJ with the Rays, Scott with the Angels, Jake with the White Sox, Oliver with the Cubs, uh, Harry with the Rangers, Jason with the Blue Jays, Brett with the Giants, Harry with the A's, Brett with the Cardinals, Harry with the Mariners, and CJ with New York Yankees. So let's get all this on one screen. Let's sort by column B, alphabetically by team. And when we come back, we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, folks. There was a ton of trade chatter here, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't seen this much trade chatter in all my years of breaking. There were, there were two-for-one deals, three-for-one deals, but in the end, no deals ended up getting done. It was just too complicated. People were just like, forget it, Joe. Just do the break, you know? So, big thanks to everybody here. List remains the same, no deals done. And I haven't heard, I haven't heard this much trade chatter in, in so long. I could have sworn deals were going to get done. One autograph per box on average. No paper ships, you know that by now. And good luck. Now, I think there was a, a decent slate of baseball games today. The Dodgers played early, so I kind of wasn't keeping track of baseball all day today. So let's let's see what, what, what info I got for you here. All right. It's a... Uh, it's a fun... <laughs> yeah, Joe P. Totally waiting. Jason and I were both waiting. And Jason came up to me last night and was like, Joe P. didn't show up in the chat last night, right? I was like, nope. Yep, Jason started laughing. He's like, I know why. And I said, me too. Scared. Chopi never shows up after a loss. After a win. You better believe it. First chat, first, first comment of the day. First comment of the day. All right. Uh, Logan Gilbert with a second win. He's holding a .54 ERA. He beat the uh, Rangers. Mariners beat the Rangers. 4-2. Royals bullpen backs up Daniel Lynch in a 2-0 win over the Twins in Kansas City. I might have to add Daniel Lynch to my fantasy team. Uh, Blue Jays beat the Red Sox 6-1 in Boston. Tapia home run in a five-run second leads the Blue Jays over the Red Sox. Rymel Tapia. Good job, Rymel Tapia. We were talking about, didn't I tell you, Brandon, uh, Brandon Belt. 
Brandon Belt, in the last handful of years, few years I think, has almost a good a slugging percentage as um, almost a good of a slugging percentage as guys like named Vlad Jr. But Belt connects on his birthday. And Rodon gra grinds as Giants beat the Mets 5-2. On Brandon Belt's first birthday in the majors, he was shipped back to the minor leagues. And now, flash forward many years later, he's leading the Giants to a 5-2 victory in New York. Joe P and I are a lot like that in a way. What, you don't show up when, when like losses to your teams happen? You don't want to face the music? Guess what happens when my teams lose? I'm on air. I have to face everybody. Win or lose. So... I guess I'm, I'm, I'm the tough guy. Uh, Joe P's, what a, what a day for Joe P. Even though his sons lost yesterday when they probably shouldn't have lost. His Diamondbacks pounding out 11 runs today over the Nationals. 11-2 in Washington. And thanks to Seth Beer. Thanks to Seth Beer. Cardinals edged out the Marlins 2-0 on an Arenado two-run home run in the ninth. I do have a choice, Rex. I choose to come in and face the music. Some of you don't. Some of you just hide away. There's Altuve to 75, yellow paper. That's the bright side. And we've got a Josh Young Atomic Refractor. The fan is getting really loud on my computer. It makes me nervous. There's Kevin Alcantara to 399. If, if uh, the stream suddenly ends, that means my computer blew up. Is my stream frozen? Oh, it's not frozen. I was going to say, doesn't, I don't think it's blown up yet. That fan is getting really loud. Good start for Logan Gilbert today. The Alcantara uh, lime green, by the way, goes to CJ and the Yankees. <laughs> Brandon Cooks in 99s, yeah. I had a bunch of 2021 Bowman baseball hits laying around to swap out with the monster that I know I'm going to pull out of here. <laughs> 172 out of 250. Purple Chrome, Johan Rojas for the Phillies. It's Mark with the fight in Phils. We got an Austin Martin. Bowman first, Blue Jays edition going to Jason. And an orange Blaze Jordan, eight out of 25. Scott Q. I think I think Jaspies has banked enough goodwill over the last seven, eight years that we've been doing this to to have people understand. This has happened before. We've had like we've had earthquakes, we have power shut down in the middle of our stream. You know, all that sort of stuff. We've we have we have we have gone through it without a hitch. Go for it. 
Also save a Blaze Bowman first paper for you, even though no paper ships, Scott. Well, see, I couldn't do that with the Blaze. Couldn't do that with the Blaze Jordan because it was already pulled, Chad. No, see, that's how, how. This is how I know Chad's an honest guy. He doesn't know how to. He doesn't even know how to scam people. <laughs> now look at the Brandon Cooks to ninety nine guy. You you can't show the hit. That's what the Brandon Cooks to ninety nine good guy did. He has like the box set up like this, and he's digging around back here, and he's flipping them around with this hand over here. You know. It is a little concerning, but I don't think I've ever heard the computer make that sound. All right, next box, more scores. Um, Yankees beat the Tigers 5-3. Miguel Cabrera gets his 2,999th hit. He's one away from 3,000. It's a milestone. I don't know how far he is away from... Uh, is he close to 600 home runs, 700 home runs? Otani had a great day on the mound today. Uh, Astros only managed one hit. Angels shut out the Astros 6 0. Uh, Rays beat the Cubs in a shortened game 8 2. Well, that's probably why they called the game, Rex, because the, the Rays were already up by a bit. Um, Orioles edged out the A's in Oakland 1 0. Guardians beat the White Sox 2 1. Padres shut out the Reds 6 0. Phillies beat the Rockies 9 6. And my Dodgers beat the Braves, 5-1. Exactly, Chad. You choose not to. That's why you can trust CPAs. Front door is too far away. You never hear it. Oh, I mean, it's probably happened a couple times. Wow, see? Watch your word, Chad. This is a public forum. Let's see. Phillies beat the Rockies 9-6. Johan Camargo had four hits including a three-run home run in the five-run seventh. There you go. Johan Carmargo. There's a Royce Lewis to 199. Uh, purple shimmer, magenta shimmer for the twin. That's going to go to Dan O. There's a Jordan Walker paper to 
And we got a Jake Vogel, 298 out of 499, refractor autograph for Brett and the Dodgers. That's going to go to Brett. Got randomized by Dodgers. You know, Chad, I have a question for you. Chad Da, who is, who is a, uh, a CPA, uh, what do you do? And, and this is, uh, ever, obviously, everyone's situation is going to be different, so take, take all these questions and answers with a grain of salt. If you had, like, a $100,000 card, for example, you sold it through an auction house, and you got X amount of money back, how, do you, how, is, how is that declared on your, how is that income declared on your taxes for just an individual in a very general sense? This is a non-specific scenario. Right, the 100K Tesla. Wait, that's different. Car sales are different though, right? That has to be, right? I don't think that's a capital gain. Is it? I'm saying, what if you got a trading card? Is a trading card considered a capital gain if you, if you sell that? Aren't cars different? I don't know. Aha! Uh -huh. There's a section of the tax form for quote unquote collectible sales. You would put the net net proceeds there and it would get taxed at 28%. Is this for all brackets? All tax brackets? Or you don't, says Jason. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you do like an all cash sale at a somewhere else, you know. But if you sell it on an auction, you know, wouldn't that somehow if you sell it like through like Leland's or something like that? Like, could you really hide that? Gotcha. Your boss usually sees it used as a lower of your marginal rate or the 28%. Got it, got it, got it. So it's almost like a, it's almost taxed as like a short-term capital gain, Chad, where you'd be taxed at your normal rate, whatever your bracket is, as opposed to if you held a, held a, held a security past a year, which would make it a long-term gain and then lower it. But I guess collectibles don't get that.
There's Ryan Mountcastle, purple paper to 250. Well, now they do, Jason. <laughs> You know, Harry, actually speaking of the National, Harry, we, ju we just started, uh, started our very preliminary discussions about the National, and, um, and I think we're going to have a, uh, a fairly decent-sized team of people going out there. So it looks like a mostly full trip. Most of, that, most of the time, that tax form Chad's saying is used for art sales. You know, by super rich and marginal tax rates in 30, so it's cheaper than normal, but still expensive. What a hassle. Hey, what a plate. Jake Vogel. Plate for the Dodgers. Brett and the Dodgers. Out of fives and under, Brett, get the train whistle. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. There you go. Yeah, Jimmy was saying earlier, sorry, I missed Jimmy's comment earlier, but he was saying that there was an Austin Martin Atomic Redemption, which I think I pulled. Super Fractor, did you pull a Super Fractor out of one of these four boxes? So Jason pulled the Super Fractor. We just pulled a orange chrome, no ink, Blaze Jordan. Some great boxes. And then, and then the Jake Vogel printing plate, no ink, but still a printing plate, still nice. I've seen the Austin Martin Super Fractor one on one, greater than 10. That's right. So your short-term capital gains are taxed at your, your, your marginal rate, your usual rate, whatever bracket you're in. And long-term gains are taxed at 15. Yeah, I'm not a day trader, so I'm, I'm fine. I don't need to worry about that. Mine will be long-term gains if I ever sell. So, like, what about if you uh, have a... Like you said, a car, right? It's paid for, it's yours. You sell it like an RV. Do you have to save money for taxes then? I, I don't, I don't know how, how does... Because it's paid off already? My mom's going to sell her RV. Yeah, Chad, how do cars work? So tell me then. My mom sells her RV for... Mac Wainwright. 30000 40000 But it's paid off. It's hers. She paid it all off. Yeah, Chad, so what, have, to, what happens there? She's to pay taxes on that? I know. Chad's going to regret telling telling us that he's a CPA. He's going to get pressed I mean, I can ask my time. sister this, but I'm just, you know... Oh, yeah, your sister would know too. Yeah, <laughs> Chad's here. here. Chad's here. Chad's here. Uh, Mac Wainwright to four ninety nine. That goes to C J Monroe, Reds. Yeah, Chad's right. Those companies aren't helping you do your taxes. Come on, Rex. eBay's like whatever. You just sell it. Make sure you report it so we don't get in trouble. What's her basis in the RV? I think she, I think Jason said it's paid off. Oh, she pays taxes on the profit, less the purchase price. Yeah, see, they do. Usually, I guess it's I guess I guess it's uh, I guess it's weird. Oh, that's not the... Oh, it pays tax on the profit. Yeah, sorry, I read your next line. She pays tax on the profits. I guess I'm so used to cars depreciating. I think these days they can be more than the cost of the... More than the cost of what the original payment price, which is pretty rare, unless you have like a collectible car. I think if you don't make a profit, you don't pay. Chad's going to tell us. Chad knows. But what did she pay for it, Jason?
being a grown up is hard, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, not what it was worth, Jason. How, what, what, what did, what did, what did Mom pay for the RV? And then what can, what can she sell it for? Was it new? Was it used? Does it, does it make a difference if it's new or used, Chad? <laughs> about to send us an invoice. I don't know. We were just talking. We just... Man. Do you charge your friends too, Chad, if you're talking about taxes? I guess I, w I would too. If your friends kept like... If it was just beyond like normal conversation. So bought it new for sixty five, gonna sell it for thirty. Wow, fifteen years old but only fourteen thousand miles. That's actually not bad. Alright, last box, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of tax talk, sorry about that. We just kinda we kinda got off off the rails a little bit. You pay no taxes, according to Chad, if you bought it for 65 and sold it for 30. There isn't a... But if you sold it for a profit, there would be, right? If they if they got it for 65 and they sold it for 75. Yeah, education hour. I mean, obviously consult your tax professional. You know, don't don't take the words of the people on the internet that are randomly talking to you, but but obviously do your own research and consult your own tax pro and your own CPA. Sometimes you do, David. It is, it's some added value. We, we'll talk about some growing up things every once in a while. There's Eddie Diaz, Orange Shimmer, 21 out of 25 for the Rocks. That's going to go to Dan O in the Rockies. <laughs> if I knew I was going to be billed, Chad, I never would have started this conversation. So, so that's on you. We appreciate the pro bono advice. It'd be, yeah, for entertainment purposes only, David Yang. That'd be like if I was a lawyer and then someone asked me a legal question, I started answering it, and then all of a sudden I can't retroactively start charging for it. Come on, Chad. Correct. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. Please consult your tax account with your own specific situation. This is all very, very general advice. There are exceptions for every situation. Not all situations are exactly alike. We're just trying to get a general idea. Jason offered the commanders, I'll take it. How about I buy you a beer next time next time you're in town? Two beers if I ask more questions. There's Hedbert Perez, Brew Crew. CJ Monroe, last spot mojo, strikes again. What kind of law do you do, David? 
I was kind of on that track. Never quite got there. A lot of my friends are lawyers. All right, looks like a little bit of orange at the end. What do we got here? Who do we got? We got an orange Kristen Robinson. Do 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 I am an expert in bird law, Harry. Four out of twenty-five, orange shimmer, Christian Robinson, Oliver Smith with the Diamondbacks. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so a uh, lot of fun stuff here. Thanks, everybody, for watching and for breaking with me. I guess I'll do a quick little recap. Ch chats. <laughs> commercial litigator. Gotcha. Do mostly trials. What's commercial litigation? How's that different from, like... Oh, it's not criminal lit litigation. Okay, anyway. Um... Thanks, David. Thanks, Chad. Thanks, everybody, for getting in on this. Uh, appreciate it. Chad, one final point since we're, we'll put a bow on all this money talks on the internet. Someone said you should deduct your time spent selling your cards. I replied, you were going to jail. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, uh, unless you want to go to jail. I'll see you next time for the next one. And join us in the chat, even when we're not recording videos. Sometimes we go off on fun little tangents like this. Uh, we got a pretty smart crew here uh, at Jaspies, so we like to have fun like this, or we can discuss the best friend tries. Who knows? Who knows what'll happen at Jaspies? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for the next break, jaspiescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. Bye.